Hey, welcome back to the Handlebar Garden. What's up? We're live in Georgia. Suchus, Georgia. We're actually sitting at two wheels of Suchus. Two wheels of Suchus. Super nice place. Yeah. Uh, you saw our other video. We done the tour of the whole campground and the cabins, and the, the lodge, and everything. Can't say, can't say enough about this. The, the hospitality that we uh, have have encountered here. Yeah. Uh, Everybody's super nice. We have met some super, super nice people. Uh, but the biggest reason we want this, to do this video is to talk about the roads in Georgia. And the ones we've been on so far have been pretty nice. Awesome roads. Don't remember all the names of them. I know 129, of course, 58, and 60. Uh, we've been on several, and uh, I ain't knocking on Dragon, well, Tell the Dragon, but these, these roads are not as crowded either, so that makes a big yeah, difference. But man, they're twisty. Yeah, they're twisty. There's some switchbacks. Gorgeous. Right I there. like Tell the Dragon, but yeah. I guess it's just gotten too popular. Well, yeah. You always travel, the less traveled. Yeah. And uh, now, now where we're at in two wheels such as uh, right now, uh, the store and everything or the restaurant stuff is closed. So, but still, this is the destination around here. Yeah. Uh, everybody comes and they hang out on the front porch up here. They got a bunch of uh, rockers. People sit here, take their breaks, and then they mount up and roll on. Uh, but we have met some super, super nice people here. Yeah. Uh, great hospitality. And uh, what we have noticed here is Harley Davidson is the minority. <laughs> and most everybody, it's either a sport bike or the adventure bike. Adventure bike. So, and I'm thinking uh, somebody told us it was like, was it the uh, state? park or something had yeah. like a bunch of trails to ride on. He said so. there was hundreds and hundreds of miles yeah. for, for you could go adventure. For, yeah. I can't remember where I was now, but yeah, it was like you could go into everywhere. Alabama. Yeah. And, and through, so uh, we we not we don't do that, so we've not really checked not into yet, that. But I mean, right. Well, I mean, seeing these guys on these adventure bikes, although I've not seen one here, Makes me want one of them uh, Pan Americas even that much more. So, anywho, now let me tell you what we done today. We got up this morning. It's giving chances of rain. Looked at radar. It was kind of above us. Hit or miss thing, and we hit the road. Mounted up. I don't remember. It might have been nine three ten. A little cool. Not unbearable. Right around ten. Yeah. So we just. Light jacket, gloves, and we're gone. We go to Fraser, Harley Davidson. If you don't know where that's, you can look it up. Uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty popular. It's a nice, yeah, shop, nice shop, big shop, a lot, a lot of bikes. Uh, <laughs> greeted us well. Yeah, a lot of bikes. And as we walked in the door, probably about the third bike down, this one here stops and starts. Ruin. And a salesman, he was right on it. Seen him drooling. <laughs> so he it was, was on. Right on. So I let Mike finish the what that up a little bit. Yeah, I almost left there with a 2021 CVO. But uh, now, as, uh, as far as factory paint, that was the it was just gorgeous. It That's was, the best looking paint. It was I've orange seen. with some sparkle in it. It and oh. Now, mind you, it's a road glide. Yeah, a road glide. Now, uh, I'm just going to leave that out. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. We're not going to leave that out. Uh, I've been trying to hop this one on a road glide for a while. It almost happened today. It ain't over yet, people. When, when she saw it, and she fell in love with it. It had the tour pack, of course, and uh, the wrap around arms. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Lights under the tour pack, so you can see in the saddlebags when you open them. Had a little of the key fob 
When you hit a button on it, it automatically locks everything. Yep. Uh, and then you talk about being spoiled. And, and, I, and this is coming from a guy here. Now, I won't take, I wish, we took, I didn't take no picture of it. Did you take a picture of it? No. Oh, God. No, no. But I want, I'm, I'm looking at this thing. I just stood there just for a minute or two. Because, I mean, anyway. And it is decked out from one end to the other of chrome. I mean, it sparkles. And I remember a guy saying, I'm going to get, now his road light or his street light is black. And the reason he got black is so he don't have to clean chrome. And I'm like, well, that'd be a lot to clean. <laughs> More than, and I know we didn't say this yet. <clears throat> Around here, I don't mean to drop, go from one subject to another, but the, uh, my wife said the chestnuts are in bloom and the pollen you go down the road and it's like oh and every time it's like somebody squeezes on my lungs so the, the pollen has got me uh my my world jacked up so now we go back to the road ride. yeah he ran the numbers gave me the price yeah he's going to work things out and of course you know it being a monday the bank's open so he's like yeah we we'll go ahead and call and all that uh, Come close, but I find like nah, nah. I still have just a little bit left on that street light, and then I'm debt free. So, be honest with you, I'm proud of him. I'm not saying I wouldn't <laughs> like him on that, but what I'm saying, and, and we've all done it, we've all done it. Yeah, I think we all, but you do not buy anything on impulse just out of this book. I got to go. Uh, Usually when you do that, you end up regretting it. Yeah, not just buyer's remorse, but I mean, you have long-term regret when yeah. you do that. And, it, now I, and we're not going to say any numbers on what those cost, on what it cost, but uh, it was a CVO road glide. We don't have to tell you what it cost. But boy, you look good on that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that sparkly orange. And the guy that had that waited like five months for them to get that color in. Yep. And then put just under 4,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. And then was going, I don't know if he was in service or what it was, but he was going to be gone for 18 months. Yep. So he's like, why let it sit here? So he just took it back to the dealership and just like basically sold it back to him. Well, it was a looker. It was. Uh, and for me, for this might be a good video to do that in. It might could make another one. What you ride? I don't know. I'm not too. I used to be, but now it's like A to B. Comfortable. Hey, buddy, if you don't like it, don't look at it. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like you the, get the more. It's function over style. Yeah, and I don't want the attention. I, and that's me. I mean, it's cool when somebody says, hey man, that, that's sharp, what's this? And I don't mind that, but... Yeah. Because we all love to talk about our bikes. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Now, and I did mention this to Mike. Uh, what did, how did I put that? What did I say? I said, oh, it was a looker. And he said, yeah. That's what made me look. my attention. Yeah. When I saw it, it was like, bam. Right? And he said, I want that. Well, you know, prowlers are prowling, and they see that. <laughs> oh, I want that. Yeah. You know. That's why you get full coverage. Yeah. Well, that's true. But, man, <laughs> it's like you said. I hate to be up here and somebody take my bike. Yeah. Here I am, thumbing my way home. Yeah, we talked to a guy, though, uh, was it yesterday? And, you know, it's not about that if it got gone, but it's a labor of love. Yeah. It's 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 like somebody grabbing your wife and taking them, or your kids, you know? Yeah. It's a labor of love. I know the insurance is gonna take care of that. Well, the, the bike, not the wife. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's my labor of love. I've done stuff yeah. to make- We were talking about that too. From what I've done to that, with that, 117 actually be heavier nope. than what that one. Not a bit. Is. Not a bit. I would like to. Uh, Cause I, I doubt that guy's done. Right here. Yeah, 
didn't, didn't seem like it. This is one of the business cards from there. Just throw out your pocket. Yep. Oh, it did? Probably did. But yeah, I don't know the... I collect business cards. There's a video on that. No longer than he's had that bike, I don't think he'd done anything to it. No. So and it would still be just bone stock. And we haven't ran the numbers on it, but it won't take long. I mean, we can look at the numbers to see the numbers on it, and we know the numbers on yours. Yeah. And I'm, now, hey, of course, this is a 114, stage two, and uh, I guarantee you that 117 has got no, got no more on it as far as power. It's got more cubic inches. But I, don't, I bet it ain't got no more power. I don't know why it would. So, you're going to put that much money into something, start changing out parts. Oh, right off the bat. Right off know. the bat. Because so, cause even though it was gorgeous, it wasn't his. It's not mine. you got to personalize it. And I don't know how much, you couldn't put no more chrome on it. No. Maybe, I mean, and I don't know if he put a lot of it on there, but man, it was just like bright, shiny. Yeah. Of course, you know once it leaves the dealership, away from those fluorescent lights, it ain't going to shine like that. No, right down the road, 30 minutes, then. Oh, and by the way, we were there, and they just got off the truck. The I did take some pictures of that. Collectors, enthusiasts. Enthusiast collectors. Uh, the the road glide. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've seen pictures of it, but man, that thing is pretty. That paint is pretty. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. Uh, it's got a 117 on it as well. I remember what yep, it was. It was 117. I'm 99% sure it was. But it was, it was sharp and it even had that air cleaner that come out. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was sharp. They hadn't even, they didn't get to it run, of course. They still had stuff on it. There was a guy sitting there with another road glide. It was teal green. It looked, it looked stock to me. I mean, it had stock pipes and everything on it. And he was thinking, he was saying, should I trade this for that? And he asked me that, and I'm like, man, I'm, they're both, I thought they're both brand new, you know? Uh, but he, he rode away, so evidently he decided not to. I don't know what they, you know. He parked it right beside it, too, and he yeah. was staring at them hard. Uh huh. But his was pretty, that was pretty bike. I think it was a soft tail standard. Think. Or not soft tail, I mean road glide standard. Yeah. ST, maybe, I don't know. I will say, Frazier, first time we've ever been there. Yep. And they seem to be friendly. We talked to the parts guy, I mean the sales guy, as soon as you see me looking at that, he was over there. And he wasn't really getting pushy. He wasn't but. looking at it, dude. <laughs> don't let him kid you, but he was. Oh. You ever been with a kid and like, there's a. Like a popsicle sitting there, eye level with them, or up, uh, you know, like a sucker, and you can just see them just, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna rag him. I'll tell you what else he done, and I shouldn't let him bought it. <laughs> I would have wore it too. <laughs> they had 50% off table men, and then there was a women's table there, and it was mostly jackets and <laughs> hoodies, thick hoodies and stuff, winter stuff, because. You know, winter's over. Yeah. Well, I was standing at the, man, uh, the men's thing looking at a, at a jacket or a hoodie. And they got them folded up and he said, check this out, man. He holds it up. I looked at it. Oh. It's almost like a thick windbreaker. Just had the, the bar and shield logo on the front. Had the classic eagle with the bar and shield on the back. Yeah. It's a good looking jacket. And it fit me. It, he put it on. was kind of strutting the stuff. And I was like, I thought to myself, man. That's not, I mean, that's not red. And I just thought it faded. But, but I was from him, you know, I was probably five, six feet from him. And I said, ain't that the women's table? <laughs> and he said, yeah. And, uh, and then we started looking at it, and he started looking at the price of it. Yeah, it was like 60 bucks. Yeah, and, and then I was up close to that color, and it was like hot pink. I mean... And uh, then he changed his mind, and, and I told him I would never make fun of him, you know, and here I am, 
making fun of him. But he didn't buy it, by the way. Now nah, she would have ended up with it if I'd have bought it. Yep. So you probably should have bought it. That would have been a good gesture. And it was a good price. It was. For for what where it was at, it was a good price. Well, it's <laughs> 120 normally. Yeah, true. But anyway. That was just some of our adventure today, if you care. And probably most don't, but uh, we thought we'd share it anyway, because uh, we're like that. But uh, I guess with that, we'll just get on off here. We won't bore you too all along. And I'm about to sneeze and cough and act, too. So until next time, be good to one another.